Hello there, Greg Willowridge Garden Center in the garden. Today we're going to be talking about lace bug damage, especially on azaleas and rhododendrons. Just for the uh, sake of videoing, right here I've got a cotoneaster. If you've noticed on any of your plants some spotting of the leaves, looks like little white or yellow spots on the leaves, sometimes the whole leaf becomes almost white then you probably have lace bug. Lace bug is a bug that gets on the underside of your leaves. They multiply. They can have four generations of year, a year. And they start in March and April. And they culminate. Their, their highest population is typically found in July, August, and even into late September is the highest population because all those generations Sometimes you can see all four generations of plants on your leaf. You can have the egg, the pupa, the little nymph, and the adult all on the same leaf. It's the nymphs and the adults that are eating your leaves. And they're not really chewing on their leaves. These are true bugs. They stick their little proboscis into the backside of your leaf and they suck the juice or the sap out of your leaf. And that's what causes the discoloration of the leaves, is they're sucking all that juice or sap out of your leaves, and it shows up on the top side of the leaf as a spot, and then eventually as the whole leaf turning light tan or almost white. It can completely eventually kill your plant if left untreated. By any means, it looks, makes it look bad. It makes it look like it's unhealthy. Obviously, this plant looks very unhealthy right now. It has so much damage on it. So, I'm going to show you another plant that's even worse. Take a look at the leaves on this plant. These leaves are almost completely colorless because of the lace bug damage. On the back sides of these leaves, you're probably not going to be able to see anything in this video, but typically you would see little black excrements on the back side of these leaves. Some of that is the excrement from the bug itself. Some of it is shed skin from the nymphs. They shed their skin six times before they come adults. So all of that is left on the back side of the leaf. But they're continually eating as they're nymphs and adults, they're eating those leaves. The best way to control these things is to start spraying with a systemic insecticide in the spring. Obviously, this time of year, it's August here at Willow Ridge right now, so, and we're noticing this in a lot of azaleas. That's when you notice the damage most is when the population is the highest. You can use a systemic insecticide this time of year and get good control. But then next year, if you've had problems on your azaleas, next year you need to go ahead and start treating those azaleas in March and April so that you don't have that big population come July and August. Always read the label on your insecticides. I will show you how to use those insecticides and which ones to use. Come by Willow Ridge, this is Greg in the garden talking about lace bugs.